A huge weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next few days, and this is going to go from really cold weather in parts of the country to really warm weather, and in addition to that, we're also going to be watching for the threat of significant flooding near the Gulf Coast of the United States, and we also could see a tropical storm or even a hurricane develop in the western Gulf of Mexico as we go into this upcoming week. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather across the United States over the next seven days. We are going to begin with what's happening across the United States this morning, which overall it's been pretty active anywhere from the northeast all the way back into the southeast where there's been tons of rain falling over the last 48 hours, especially right near the Gulf Coast where plenty of showers and thunderstorms continue to develop near a stationary frontal boundary. And what that's going to continue to do is bring the potential for showers and thunderstorms throughout the weekend and probably into next week as well. We are also watching a small little tropical wave that's going to be coming off the Yucatan Peninsula as we go throughout the day today and tomorrow and this could develop into our next tropical storm or perhaps hurricane and we're going to talk more about that here in a few minutes we are watching for the potential though of development in the southwest gulf this week and then eventually if it does develop we could see it take a run towards the united states where that goes is uncertain but we are going to talk about that here in just a second we also have a low pressure system that's brought some showers and thunderstorms to the northeast that is going to bring another chance for showers and storms today and then anywhere in the great plains the midwest or even back on the west coast things are very dry for the most part so some good news there if you're looking forward to some fall like weather with also some dry conditions now, i do want to point out how chilly it is across the united states this morning we have low temperatures currently sitting in the low 30s back over northeastern minnesota where there was a freeze warning in effect same thing goes for northern wisconsin it is pretty chilly out there this morning you will definitely need a jacket anywhere across the midwest and even parts of like michigan for example and the ohio valley now this is what we're looking at for the rest of today in the northeast we'll be watching for the potential for a couple of water spouts this morning back over on lake erie that should not really translate into much of any sort of tornado threat just something to watch for on lake erie and perhaps even over on lake michigan by the way through about lunchtime as we go throughout the afternoon we'll be watching for some storms to roll across new york wouldn't be surprised if we get some isolated damaging winds but i don't think there's going to be much of a tornado risk today initially that was something we were watching for but just the environment is not really primed for that today and then once we go into tomorrow things will start to dry out we'll have a couple more showers across the you know northern parts of new england but other than that things will start to clear out there now for the rest of the united states this weekend we are going to continue to watch for another system to try to develop just east of north carolina not really expecting much of any development out of this but we could get maybe a brief little tropical depression or storm just east of north carolina gulf of mexico is really going to have our attention i think throughout the week because there will be a potential for tropical development high pressure will be building and dominating across basically the entire lower 48 so sunday and monday pretty much dry across everywhere in the united states the only exception really just being the southeast and as well as right along the gulf coast unfortunately we are going to continue to deal with plenty of rain once we go into the middle of next week just notice how dry the weather is for most of the country we are going to be watching again for maybe some sort of tropical development throughout the week if something doesn't develop we're at least talking about you know multiple days of showers and thunderstorms that could lead to some flooding by the time we get closer to the weekend we'll be having to watch the northwestern united states for a trough ejection it is still uncertain what this will do but this is the time of year where we start to go into the second severe weather season and so something like this could pose a threat for severe weather maybe in like the northern plains sometime by the end of this week or by the weekend i don't see this being a big concern right now but we are going to be watching this closely to see if anything does evolve with it initially it looked like this could be a bit more of a larger threat for the central and northern plains and then eventually the midwest but again too early to really tell what's going to happen with that particular storm now rainfall totals over the next seven days i mean just look at this almost all of the rain that's going to fall over the next seven days will be along the gulf coast several areas just offshore are going to pick up 15 inches of rain so if you know any fish there definitely let them know but right along the south coast of louisiana is where we could see a widespread four to eight inches of rain but again just dry as a bone across the midwest and the central and northern plains now, the temperatures over the next several days are are going to continue to stay below average in the Ohio Valley and the Northeast with a big cold air mass in place. But as we go into early next week, that's going to go away pretty quickly. This is by Monday into Tuesday. Notice how all that dark blue just kind of vanishes. That's going to be indicating that temperatures are going to return at least closer to normal as we go into the early part of next week. The Midwest will be above average again for temperatures as early as Monday afternoon, which is kind of crazy to think with that, you know, really quick cold blast. This is what we're looking at as we go into Tuesday into Wednesday. You know, that 
warm air again just continues to build low pressure will try to build back over just to the north of wyoming and if this does end up developing you can basically expect a strong southerly wind to build more warm air across a large chunk of the northern tier of the country on the flip side below average temperatures will start to build across the western tier of the united states and then by the weekend basically the entire country is going to be right back to near or just above average temperatures so again enjoy the nice weather while it's here at least the nice fall weather because you're not going to probably see that again for at least another week or two until we get closer to the middle or end of september here's what the low temperatures look like for tomorrow morning so again enjoy the cold weather if you like it get outside low temperatures in the low to mid 40s for tomorrow morning many areas will be even close to the upper 30s back over in parts of michigan but currently no freeze is expected as of right now and the climate prediction center is on board with this forecast indicating a high likelihood of above average temperatures from texas back into the midwest and the northeast with a couple of spots like the west coast going to be having the potential for below average temperatures anytime from thursday of this upcoming week until monday of the following week precipitation overall it's going to be pretty much dry as a bone over in the northeast as we go into next weekend so just be prepared for that anywhere near the gulf coast back through the great plains and the pacific northwest expecting above average precipitation at this time now the tropics are continuing to look a little active but again for almost being in the middle of september this is definitely not what you would imagine especially with this season being predicted to be a hyperactive you know hurricane season we really just have not had much of anything out there now the greatest concern that we have here in the united states right now is going to be this tropical wave that's going to be entering into the southwestern gulf of mexico today and tomorrow the chances of this developing do still seem to be kind of 50 50 at this point because of there being a stationary frontal boundary lots of moisture in the gulf and really again just a favorable environment so a tropical storm or even a hurricane definitely is something we can't rule out over the next seven to ten days also we do have a tropical wave that is currently in the central parts of the atlantic ocean right in the main development region that one has a low chance of developing as of right now but again we are going to talk mostly about this gulf of mexico one here over the next couple of minutes now one deterministic model that is indicating that we could see tropical development is the gfs model now again take this with a grain of salt because it is only one model but it is a scenario that definitely could happen this is by tuesday notice how a low pressure center develops by tuesday afternoon and eventually by wednesday into thursday look how the gfs model has this intensifying just to the south of houston and then by the time we go into wednesday thursday friday it makes landfall again just somewhere around louisiana this is one scenario that could definitely go down i could see this either making landfall in like south texas or back up in louisiana there are definitely a few scenarios that could end up happening with this particular tropical system if it does indeed develop this is the latest run from the gefs ensemble members and just notice there are a lot of different scenarios that could go down with this a lot of them only indicating that this becomes some sort of tropical depression maybe a low-end tropical storm there are a few models though that do bring this a little bit further to the east towards louisiana and if it's able to stay over the gulf of mexico uh, waters for long enough it could intensify a bit quicker which is what those few ensembles that are shown like that green orange even red colors are indicating it does indicate that this could get to a category one sort of strength sometime in the middle of this upcoming week so it is definitely something to watch for and i don't think there's any reason to panic still just make sure that you are staying uh, vigilant and also weather aware if you are near the louisiana or as well as texas coast as we go into next week thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already